morning so i am standing right in front of my a uh, service apartment and we are leaving for the game of thrones tour and for that we have to move down all the way to 10 victoria street and uh, we might just walk down or take a bus so uh, i'll keep you posted on our journey and uh, we'll try to cover all the major spots you know uh, to which we are taken to and uh, yeah let's see how the day goes Road drive for another 20 minutes till we get to our first location, Little Seaside Town, Car Unlock. So again, you have toilets there. You get tea, coffee. You can bring it on board. There's a bank machine. There's currency exchange. It's also a Game of Thrones location. The first spot that our tour bus has pulled up is at Carnlow, which is a small town on the North Atrium coast. The canal here, called as the Bravos Canal, was featured in season six, where Arya gets stabbed and is thrown in the canal. at uh, the Bravos Canal. We have stopped here for a while just to kind of take a look at the location. This is a real Game of Thrones location and also to get a quick coffee break and loo break. So you can see uh, there are so many tourists out here who have come to see the uh, location, the real life location of the show. And uh, also it's a very picturesque small town wherein you know there are a couple of shops uh, for your regular supplies so yeah i'm just going to get a quick coffee for myself because it's getting too cold <laughs> the second stop is at koshendan which is again a small village located on the causeway coast the geographical condition here is a little rugged but extremely picturesque there were some game of thrones scenes that were shot inside the koshendan caves these caves are just a few miles from the main village. It might get cold around this area, so dress accordingly. Also, be ready to click a lot of pictures as it is super stunning here. Ireland to fight Finn McCool. Finn McCool got really worried and said to his wife Una, what will I do? Una Hi guys, so I am at uh, the Carrick Bridge now. This is going to be a tough terrain and a pretty gravel one as well. As you can probably tell, this is a really long trek which has to be covered on the foot. Now, since I have a small child with me, I'm not sure if they'll allow me to actually go inside, but still I'll try. And my child today, she's giving us a really tough time. She's just moving on her own. Just look at the way she's, you know, being independent and moving around. It's okay if uh, the terrain is not that difficult, but since it's so gravel and slippery out here, it makes me a little uh, worried. But uh, she's enjoying, so I'm happy. Okay. Okay, bye. So let's look at the abundant beauty. So just look at the trek. It is so steep. Make sure that you have eaten well before you take the trek because you're going to burn a lot of calories and drink enough water. Karika Reed Rope Bridge is a simple suspension bridge that connects the mainland to an island also known as Karika Reed. 
Originally, this bridge was used by fishermen who would catch salmon fish off the coast. However, now it is mainly a tourist attraction. The bridge is 20 meters long and hangs 30 meters above the sea level. Make sure that you are wearing comfortable shoes and clothes while being on this tour as you will have to walk a lot. It is lunch time and we have halted at Fullerton's Arm which is a Game of Thrones themed pub and restaurant. So guys, we are also going to the dark hedges which make a very very important scene and plot and location in the Game of Thrones. Dark hedges is a sort of natural tunnel formed by hundred odd beech trees planted on the either sides of the road. This stretch was prominently used in a Game of Thrones episode and also in 2017 Transformer film The Last Night. As a part of the Game of Thrones tour, we were also taken to the Giant's Causeway. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has 40,000 interlocking basalt columns that were formed due to an ancient volcanic eruption. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Northern Ireland and offers a stunning view around as well. The geographical structure requires one to step on endless columns of rocks which is extremely uneven and I was advised not to venture in with a baby in my arms. It is strictly not suitable for children due to dangerously uneven surface. We have now very briefly stopped at the Dunluce castle. These are roofless ruins of a medieval castle that once stood upright on the cliff of the seashore. However, with all the bloody wars and battles that this castle has witnessed, it has now remained just a shadow of what it used to be. The Dunluce castle also has a reputation of being haunted. So you can also try your luck with the supernatural on your visit here. So guys, after a long day of exploring, we are now going back to Belfast as it is now close to 6 pm. We have had a great time at this Game of Thrones tour. I hope you liked this vlog and if you did, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram for more. I'll see you always soon in my next vlog. Till then, bye.